Hi, it's Mr. Pledger here. So this is the third video in division. Um, so we're going to be dividing by a decimal this time. Uh, like before, I'm going to go through the first uh, question from each of these stars um, to show you what to do, and then you can do the rest of it in your books and show me that you understand. So let's have a look at this then. So first question is 8 divided by 0 0.2. Well, if I write this down as a bus stop you'll see this is going to be quite a tricky thing so there's my bus stop so i've got the first number to the bus stop gets a seat in the bus stop and the second number to the bus stop sits outside okay now what i'm being asked to do then is how many 0.2s go into eight and my 0.2 times table is literally rubbish so we've got a problem there so this is not what we are going to do if we write this calculation as a fraction, so 8 divided by 0 0.2 can be written as a fraction, so that's the same as 8 fraction 0 0.2. So this bar here means divide, so 8 divided by 0 0.2. You can see that we've got a fraction with a decimal in it, and we know that we don't like fractions with decimals in them. So really our problem is actually this bottom one, the denominator. So what do we need to do to make the denominator a nice number? So let's have a look at that. If we multiply by 10, that's going to make it, it's going to move the decimal point one skip. It's going to make that into a 2, isn't it? Which is exactly what we want, a nice number to divide by. Now because I, I don't want to change the calculation, I want an equivalent fraction. I'm going to need to do the same on the top. Okay, so that's going to give me 80 divided by 2. Now, in fairness, I could probably do that by simplifying the fraction. But what I want you to, sh to show you how to do is do that as a bus stop. So now we're just going to say what we want to do is 80 divided by 2 as a bus stop. So 8, 2's uh, into 8 rather, go yeah, the 4 time, and 2's into 0, no times, so the answer is 40. So, like I say, when you've got the number on the outside to be a nice number, the times tables are much, much simpler, and we can do the calculation of the bus stop quite easily. So, second one then, what we're going to need to do is take the um, calculation and write it as a fraction. So 1.5, we're dividing by 0 0.3. Now, really what I'm interested in is how do I get this denominator, the number that's going to be on the outside of the bus stop, to be a nice number. So I think if I move that decimal point one skip, that's going to give me times 10 again, but I've got to do that to the top as well because I want it to be the same calculation, the same number. I don't want to be trying to fix this after I've done it. So uh, we'll do that. And 1.5 times 10 is going to give me 15. And 0 0.3 times 10 is going to give me 3. And again, you could look at this as a simplifying a fraction problem. What times table goes into 15 and 3 at the same time? Or what is this 15 divided by 3? But let's just consider that as a bus stop again. So I've got 15. want to divide it by 3. 3 into 1 don't go. Carry the 1. 3 into 15. 5 times the answer is 5. Next one then. So what we've got here is I've got the 27 as a fraction with 0 0.03. Okay. Now we don't want that, that decimal on the bottom. That's what's going to mess us up when we try and do our times tables for the division. So in order to make that a nice number, I'm going to want to multiply that by 100. Now, because I want this to be an equivalent fraction, what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So that's going to give me 2,700 
over three. So let's draw the bus stop 2700 divided by three. Threes into two, that doesn't go, carry the two. Threes into 27 goes nine times. Threes into zero, nothing. Threes into zero, nothing. So the answer to that one is going to be 900, isn't it? Uh, so I've shown you the examples there. You need to have a go at these questions for me in your books. And we'll see how you get on. Good luck.